My name's Matthew, and today I get to walk you guys around this 2023 on a 23 registration Land Rover Range Rover. It is the Range Rover Sport, and this is a P530 first edition. Now the P530 is a 4.4 liter turbocharged V8 with 530 horsepower. And as of today, when we checked, you cannot order this car currently. It is not available for order right now with Land Rover. It is also a first edition, again, making it even rarer. Now the first editions come so highly equipped so nearly everything is standard, but this car does have some standout features that are above that specification level as well. Finished in Santorini black metallic, one of my favorite colors with the full black exterior styling pack. So everything has been color coordinated in black with the light cloud and black two-tone interior. It's a really beautiful color scheme. And you're gonna see that when we open the doors, you're gonna see how bright and amazingly spacious the interior feels because of that fact. Now the car's covered 4,000 miles from new and let's get, round looking at, get around looking at it. So at the front end, as I said, that black styling pack is fantastic. We've got black lettering on the bonnet, all of the grills finished in gloss black as well. The car does have adaptive cruise control. The radar now is so small and sleek and hidden in the grill there. And then right next to that is the forward facing part of the 3D surround camera system fitted to this car. And then very nicely integrated at all the park sensors, very, actually really nicely hidden in that front bumper. We now have Land Rover's LED scanning headlights. So these are, headlights seem to be moving so fast in terms of their technology. These are a super adaptive scanning LED headlight unit with Land Rover's iconic daytime running light, which is now all sleek and squashed into these new lights. It's a really pretty front end on the new Range Rover Sport. Lovely little sections down here. Again, even this center straight that separates this lower grill section, all finished in gloss black. Coming around the passenger side, the car is fitted with the option style 5135 alloy wheel. This is finished in gloss black as well. So going with that theme with the rest of the car and it's a 23 inch alloy wheel. It is absolutely enormous, but it looks just brilliant on this car. Big Range Rover brake calipers on the back there. They are also Brembo. So you've got the Range Rover decal on there and you've also got the Brembo logo just sat next to it. And they're finished in gloss black, as I said kidney grills, side grills, everything all finished in the same color scheme. You've got the cameras on the bases of the mirror there, which are part of that 3D surround package and obviously give you the whole view. So obviously they're all around the car. And then if I open the car, this is keyless entry and keyless, keyless go. So if I open the car, you're gonna see a very nice cost option extend from the side of the car. This car is fitted with the Range Rover deployable side steps around a £3,000 cost option. Now go have a look inside this vehicle. You've got that beautiful light cloud white or ivory leather on the inserts and the center section of the dashboard, but beautifully paired, as I say, with that black leather on the other sections of the car. You've got the first edition tread plates that are all illuminated as you come out of the doors there. And a really nice touch here. You've got this almost forged carbon effect as the trim throughout the vehicle. It's a really, really pretty effect and very, very nice. And I haven't seen that on the big ones. I've only seen it on these, these sports at the moment. And the car is also fitted with soft closed doors. So that was a bad example, but if I shut this door very gently, or just touch it, hopefully you can pick up those soft closed doors working. And if you go inside the rear, again, you're gonna see how that color scheme really brightens the interior. Four zone climate control with adjustable, so electrically adjustable rear seats on their backrests, and they're obviously heated. And then that panoramic roof, I don't know if the camera can see or go up and have a look, but that opening glass panoramic roof, giving those rear passengers a huge amount of light into the back of the car. Privacy glass to the rear three quarters, as you can see. Land Rover's new sort of twin shark fin, I would say, for the antennas on the roof there. And if you can see the eagle-eyed people of you can see there's a camera in the left-hand side of the shark fins. Now, what we'll do is when we're in the car, I'll show you exactly what that camera does. So some more fantastic styling at the back of the car, more of that gloss black pack 
the Range Rover logo actually sort of very nicely sat on top of this sort of in between the rear light section, which sort of makes up almost a light bar, but it isn't. Sport logo on that side, the reverse cameras on the bottom there, and this big rear tailgate on the new Range Rover Sport. Lovely to have the Range Rover rubber over mat there, just protecting the carpet that's underneath. It does also have that new model Range Rover boot separator, which is really, really handy. And you do have a little bit of extra storage in the boot itself. This car is also fitted with a deployable tow bar. So if I press this button here, I'm hoping it's gonna work. It sounds like it's gonna work. Sometimes when the batteries run a little low on these cars, if they've been cleaned or anything like that, the deployable tow bar is the first thing that the car will automatically switch off to save battery life. But there it is, a really, really cool optional extra to have on this car and above and beyond the first edition. And being that P530, you get these massive chrome rear tailpipes and this sort of large rear diffuser section, which really does differentiate this car from a standard Range Rover Sport. Power tailgate drops with the touch of a button. And I'll come around the driver's side and I'll jump in and show you some of these interior features. Again, these deployable side steps, so handy, especially with a vehicle like this. It's currently in access mode, but when it's in its normal mode, it's a bit higher. Those side steps really come into play. We'll start on the driver's door card. So again, that I'll just pull it to just a little bit. You can see how great that carbon fiber, that forged carbon fiber effect is on that door there. Fully adjustable driver's seat, as you can see here, they are super, super configurable and all your memory settings really neatly hidden inside the switches themselves. You've got obviously four electric windows, folding mirrors, and they are obviously heated as well. And up here, the Meridian surround sound system. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna very quickly switch the car on. I'm gonna bring that 4.4 litre V8 to life. And hopefully the cameraman will now spot this. There's a little light on that mirror there that's just come on. That is this car's blind spot monitoring system. So as I said at the beginning of this video, it's a first edition, which means all of these options that would normally you'd have to pay for, all of them come as standard. So this car is so heavily equipped, you don't have to worry about missing any important features that you think you'd need because it's got nearly everything you'd ever want. We've got this beautiful two-tone steering wheel, again with the contrast stitching on the inside of the wheel there, a really, really intricate detail. Obviously electrically adjustable and all your multi-functions now. So this new virtual cockpit that Land Rover do is fantastic. It's a really good system. And then you've got on the right hand side, you've got your lane keep assist. This car does obviously have active lane assist as well. Your adaptive cruise control settings and you've got your heated steering wheel setting on the right hand side there. And then on the left hand side, you've got your menu settings and your Bluetooth settings, which help you configure the screen in front of you. It's a really, really lovely screen. You can obviously change the layout very, very easily. So at the minute it's on focus, but if I put it on map, the whole screen, as you can see, will be populated by a map and you still have all those essential driver parameters that you need to see in front of you. The car does have a heads up display as well, which is always very tricky for a camera to pick up, but it is there. It's a very big heads up display in this car. And then I want to move you across. We discussed that camera in the shark fin earlier in this video. If you have a look and I just flick that button on the mirror there, that mirror goes from being a regular conventional mirror to a camera. And it's a really clever safety feature if you have a car full of passengers and you can't see out that rear window. It's a wonderful feature to have. Land Rover's new PIVI system is also down here. Look at the size of these screens now. It's almost a curved display as well. These are beautiful to behold and a really wonderful system to use. Really responsive. You have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It's all wireless as you can see and look how big it is on this screen. And then a really nice feature. The wireless phone charger in this car is very neatly hidden underneath the satellite navigation screen. I think that's a fantastic little addition from Land Rover dual zone climate controls here and you've got the two zone uh, actually it's better to show you that from here so if i go into the car's control system here i believe and if i edit the seats if i try and move the seats to see if i can get this correct it may be nicer to show this to you in this system here here we go right so if i turn the seats on you've got your heated seat function there and your cooled seat function there which i think is just brilliant it's really easy to use and then if I come out of that and set it back to zero and go back to massage, all the massage function for the driver's seat there as well, you can change that and the passenger seat, all can be just adjusted within the PIVI screen. If I go back to the main setting, you can also adjust the heat seat, the, heat, the heated and ventilated seats, I beg your pardon, in the rear. So the rear seats by the looks of things are heated and cooled. So you really aren't missing anything in this car. If I put it into reverse, 
The whole surround camera system comes to life and if I press the 3D button, you're gonna see the augmented reality version of this car and you can spin around the car in any way you wish. Obviously the right-hand driver's door is open at the moment so that camera then stops working but it's a really, really fabulous system. I'll put it back into park. The dual zone climate control as we discussed. Land Rover's new control switch for all their drive modes. So if I spin that, you can now see all the drive modes come across the bottom of the screen here. It obviously has a dynamic mode being the P530 first edition, that big V8 engine. And then coming down here, lots and lots of storage. This car is fitted with an extra secure tracker as well. Down here, you've got a hidden compartment behind these cup holders with extra storage underneath, USB-C and USB ports. And then under here, a lovely twin adjustable cooler fridge and then that Alcantara headlining and that massive panoramic roof. There's just so much luxury in this vehicle. I'm going to jump out now and summarize for you. So a 2023 on a 23 registration Range Rover Sport P530 first edition, that fantastic color scheme of Santorini black with the light cloud and black two-tone leather interior. For me, actually, this is a specification that I would order. The deployable side steps, the deployable tow bar. And when I looked at the market, the majority of these cars in the market are Land Rover's red. There aren't many black ones for sale, and I think that is really important. As I said, 4,000 miles from new, ready to go. My name is Matthew. I hope this video has helped. Thanks for watching.